Next, we're going to talk about the field handle. If we bring the mouse pointer to the bottom right angle of the active cell, it takes the form of a small, thin cross. This cross is called, is called field handle. Now, let's see how it can be used. Our worksheet displays a list of revenues and expenses, which are organized per month. So, in this column here, we're gonna calculate the result of the revenues minus the expenses. We have to type the equal sign first in cell A5, where we're now, and then type the reference of the cell displaying the value 1000, which is C5. So we're gonna type C5. Then we're gonna type the subtraction symbol. And finally, the reference of cell D5, which contains the value 400. If we press enter, Excel will, will return the result 600. In the formula bar, we can see the formula which returns this result. In the same way, you are going to type equals first in cell E6, then C6 instead of 1010, minus and D6 instead of 405. If we press Enter, Excel will return number 605. In the next cell, E7, we are going to type equals first and then C7 minus D7. Then in the next one, we are going to type equals C8 minus D8. If we press Enter, Excel will return the result. In the same way, we can calculate the result for the rest of the months as well. This is the correct way of calculating, but uh, it's quite tedious. Now, let's see a quicker one. Take a look at this. In cell A5, we've typed the formula equals C5 minus D5. Then we've typed the formula equals C6 minus D6 in cell E6. In the next cell, we've typed the formula equals C7 minus D7, and in cell E8, we've typed equals C8 minus D8. Let's keep these formulas here to remember them. If we look carefully, we'll be able to see that the only difference in column C is the number 5 changes to 6, 6 changes to 7, and 7 changes to 8. And the same goes with column D2. Let's see how we can use the fill handle. First, we will delete the contents of these cells. We are going to select them and press delete. Now, select the first cell and we bring the mouse pointer to the fill handle right here. Then, holding the left mouse button down, we drag downwards. We want to calculate the result up to here, the month December. Therefore, we release the left mouse button when we reach the month December, cell E16. We notice that Excel returns the correct results. Let's take a moment to verify them. If we click cell E6, we'll be able to see that it displays the correct formula equals C6 minus D6. That's the one we've previ previously typed ourselves. Then if we click cell E7, the formula displayed in the formula bar is equals C7 minus D7, which is correct. Finally, clicking the cell E8, the formula displayed in the formula bar is equals C8 minus D8. That's the one we would have typed ourselves too. So, the fill handle is used to replicate a formula from one cell to others by simply dragging the mouse pointer as soon as it takes the form of a black three thin cross. The fill handle can be dragged downwards, as we have already seen, or to the right. Let's see how. We are going to use this worksheet here to calculate the result of the revenues minus the expenses for January, February, March, etc. 
but not vertically. This time it will be horizontally. For the first cell, we have to make the calculations ourselves. We select it, type equals, and then we type D4 instead of 1000 and minus D5, which corresponds to 400. We press enter to display the result, which is 600. Then we select the cell, we bring the mouse pointer to the handle and as soon as it takes the form of a black th thin cross, holding the left mouse button down, we drag right until the last month and release the mouse button. Excel will turn the results. Let's take a moment to verify them. In this cell here, the E6, we should type equals E4 minus E5. Let's, let's check if it's actually displayed in the formula bar. Yes, indeed, it's the correct formula. Now, let's see how else you can use the fill handle. Number 1 is displayed a lot of times in column A. You could certainly type number 1 and fill the column. But let's see how we can use the fill handle to do it quickly. We type number 1 in a cell and then bring the mouse pointer to the fill handle and holding the left mouse button down, we drag downwards. In this way, number 1 has been copied to all of the cells. Now, let's take column C. There is a sequence of numbers in here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. Should we want to display this kind of numbering? All we have to do is type the first two numbers, 2 and 4. Then select those two cells and drag the fill handle downwards. The result is again the correct one. We can use the fill handle for the days of the week as well. You can see here in column E we have typed the days of the week, but in column F we have just typed Monday. We bring the mouse pointer to the fill handle and holding the left mouse button down we drag downwards. The rest of the days of the week will then be displayed. The same goes for months. Here we have a list of all the months. And here we have typed the month January. We go to the fill handle and holding the left mouse button down, we drag downwards. Here is the result. Let me resize the columns to see it better. Great. So if we want to copy some text to many cells, we only have to type it once. We then go to the fill handle and holding the left mouse button down, we drag downwards. And we're done. The fill handle will help you save a lot of time and become much more efficient. So it is very important that you know how to use it.